Alright CAD fans, in this video we're going to look at some of the 3D tools. So we'll start with a 3D template. It's the usual thing here. And uh, what you see is the XYZ coordinate system and the regular buttons we've been using. So let's take a look at the other workspaces like 3D basics. You see all the tools change and we can do stuff like drawing a 3D box. So if we start someplace, draw the other corner, you can type the dimensions in just like we did in 2D. Or you can just click and one more left click and there I've got a three-dimensional box. Notice that it always starts in the XY view and then does the Z last. So that's the simplest under the box. We've got cylinder, cone, pyramid, wedge. We've got a bunch of different basics, what we'd call a 3D primitive then we can switch to uh, doing 3D from 2D. So let's use this little thing here. If I click the corner, it moves up like that. Click the top, it moves up like that. And then my usual middle button and drag, that works. I think I'll shut the grid off. And then we could do something like take the polyline tool, draw some funny looking shape. Okay, hit enter and then extrude that shape. It may be easier if we look at it at a little bit of an angle. Notice I'll hit the corner of that box and it'll move up. I can hit the corner of that side, it'll turn around. That's kind of the easiest way to uh, negotiate around the 3D view. But let's go back to the extrude tool. Now that I have this closed uh, polygon, I can select that, hit enter, specify a height, Let's type in 30 just for fun. And there I've made a funny looking 3D shape. So pretty much anything you can draw in 2D, you can extrude into a 3D shape. Another interesting tool is the sweep, where you can have it follow a line. Let's switch back to our top view and just use the polyline and draw in kind of a funny looking. Let's use arc. We'll go up. I guess it really doesn't matter how we do this, but let's switch back to line. And there, so there's the path that we want something to follow. We switch around to the top view, or excuse me, the back view, and then draw in, oh, let's say we'll do a circle just to try those tools. If I can get right close to the end of that line, draw a circle. Uh-oh, that's not working, is it? Remember, we can only draw an XY in that direction. So let's hit the Escape button and use the View User Coordinate System, that's UCS, to switch the XY around our, our view. Back to the circle, at the end of that line, draw a circle. And then we can use the Sweep tool. It says Select Objects to Sweep. And we'll select the circle. Hit enter, select sweep path. We hit that line that I just drew a second ago, and there it is. I'll spin that around so now you can see I've drawn what looks sort of like a pipe, which is kind of a neat thing. Here's a 3D drawing I did of some kitchen cabinets on Eastport. Now that we've drawn some things, we can select them pretty much the same as we've done before. And you can grab these grips and make them larger, or you can do move and copy and all those sorts of tools. We also have this gizmo. We've got a couple different versions of that. Let's let's stick with the move gizmo, and that's all these these lines right here in the what looks like the same as the UCS. Uh, but if I click one of those, I can use that to move it around. Notice that I can type the numbers in just like we've done with other things, 65 up, you know, move that way. So instead of stretching, if you just want to move stuff, and it works pretty much the same way with these other versions of the gizmo. So that will scale it in, the, in that direction. Uh, let's see, let's zoom in that on that a little bit so you can see it better. Or I can scale it up. Obviously, if you've got a rectangle and you scale it, it's going to go all at the same time. 
I use the move one occasionally just because it's handy to be able to grab that and move it quickly. Let's take a look at how this interacts. I just hit the escape key. Take a look at how this interacts with this other shape we drew though, the one that we extruded. Same gizmo tool. You can move things around however you want to do it. And then if you grab one of these corners you can actually stretch the shape and change it all together. So it's acting quite a bit differently with a extruded shape than it does with a box, because a box is always going to be a box unless you cut, off, cut something off it. Okay. Now keep in mind that our coordinate system is still back with that other view. And if, say, we pick view now, it's going to be sort of, I guess, called crooked. Right, so if we drew a box in this orientation, it's going to come out at a completely different angle than what we've been looking at previously. That's kind of cool. But keep in mind that that's the way it works. If you get messed up with where you are in the coordinate system, hit the world one, and it'll put it back to where you were. You can also do things like union, subtract, intersection, so if you want to put two things together, for example, we can put that one. Actually, I should have moved it first. Let's do move. Select objects. We can move it over, say, in with this other object. And then do the union of those two, that one and that one. Hit enter, and now this is all one object. And speaking of getting confused in views, uh, sometimes I get twisted around with this one if you're using the box and hitting the corners and stuff sometimes that works otherwise some of the standard ones are right here the top bottom and sometimes I'll use these basic isometric ones to put it back in an orientation that I can see it at the other part here is you can switch to wireframe so you just see the lines you can switch to we were at realistic you can do shaded or sketchy is kind of interesting but most of the time I stick with either realistic or, or wireframe depending on what I'm trying to draw. Sometimes you might just want to change one face of a 3D object. Notice when I hover the mouse over that, that box it does the whole thing but if I hold the control key down and left click it just gives me the top face and with the gizmo I could move up that top face or I could move that top face at an angle uh, any of those kind of things. So I guess that should do it for the basics. I'll get you started.